Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. If you are new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. If you're already subscribed, welcome back. In today's video, I am going to be doing a review slash swatch, maybe a look with the new Kylie Cosmetics Under the Sea Summer Collection. I got the entire collection. I am also going to go through the prices. So if you are not already subscribed, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you're instantly notified when I upload. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so I went ahead and I put my eyebrows on. We're going to dig right in, do some swatches, probably some lip swatches, and then go and put some eyeshadow on the face. Wow, the eyes. <laughs> All right, so let's get into it now that I'm done being goofy. This is the Kylie Jenner Under the Sea collection. I actually don't think it is her summer collection because I just saw on Instagram today she's launching her birthday slash summer collection, which I think is weird because, well, it's August and, like, you know, summer is almost over, at least in my area. So you get the postcard. You get, obviously, the tracking slip but it never has the prices so I'm gonna look up the prices so I can go ahead and tell you what they are so I know that the whole collection that I got here was $185 um, and then you can get the eyeshadow and the four shimmer um, eyeshadow pans for a hundred dollars or you can get all four shimmer eye glaze for $65 and then the eyeshadow palette for $42 the lip blushes are 16, the high glosses are 16, the lipsticks are 17, except for the metallic, which is 16, and each shimmer eye glaze is 20, and then you can get the lips together, so the two lip blushes and the gloss for 40, the three lipsticks, two lipsticks for 45, and then that's it. So you get a lot of bundle options um, and you can also buy things separate. I always buy together just because one, I want to show you guys and two, I'm a big huge collector so like I have to have all of the pieces or I feel like I am like missing out. Is that like the fear of missing out? Can you consider that the fear of missing out? I don't know but I do. So that's just what it is. So we're gonna start first with the lip products because I can swatch those, take them off, and then go into an eye look for you guys. So let me get out the lip items. This bundle really came with a lot of lip products. I have six of them here, six different lip products. So that's pretty cool if you're like me, you're really into lipstick, then this is gonna be something you're really into. Um, also, I'll link above, I did my makeup collection for you guys, kind of just went through real quick, show you what I have, all that good stuff, and um, I'm having a giveaway on that video, so make sure you follow the card up here, it'll pop up, and just watch the video, and then enter the giveaway. Alright, so I'm going to zoom you in just for the lipstick swatches so you can get a better look at the color and all of that good jazz. Alright, so we're going to go into the two lipsticks first, which are matte. There are two matte and one metallic. And also, my face up close without makeup, don't judge it, okay? Don't judge it. The packaging itself is extremely cute. It is like this peachy color with some gold and orange. It has bubbles. And it's really just, I think it's really fresh and cute. So this one is called Beach Bum. So it comes in a little tube right here. This is Kylie on the bottom. And it's peach. This is Beach Bum. It's just a light peachy nude. And I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you. Hmm, smells sweet. Okay, so again, this is Beach Bum. Not really my cup of tea. I might be able to darken it a little, but just against my skin tone, it's not really the prettiest. Um, I think it's going to look much better on a more fair skin tone than it is on a tan skin tone. It just kind of washes me out a little bit. Um, it's not very matte. It feels more creamy than anything. So that, I, I mean, I don't mind creamy lipsticks. It's just if it's going to be matte, it should probably be more drying but it is definitely going to be transferable and not dry down and it is a tad oh, it is a tad streaky in here. I did have to do a couple layers. So let's move to the next color. All right, so the next one is Paradise Please. Ooh. And 
it's just going to be that pretty warm pink. Okay, and that is Paradise Please. I think it'll look good on all skin tones, way better than this light one, but I definitely think that it just pulls a lot better on my skin tone. It definitely brings out more coral than it does pink though, and this one is a little bit more drying. If you look, you can kind of see that it settles into all of my lines that I have on my lips because I have a ton of them, and it's just not as, it's not as creamy, so it's a little more, bit more matte, which I do actually like. And the last tube lipstick is Endless Summer. And this one is the metallic. It is a peachy orange metallic with what looks like gold reflex inside. Okay, so this is Endless Summer. Um, it is a little bit more creamy than the matte one. It, however, is just very glittery and um, it's pretty. I like it. I think that it would be a really nice lip topper, but alone it's just too much glitter for me. If you like that metallic look, this is going to be your girl. But for me, it's not gritty by the way. It's very smooth. You can't feel the glitter pieces. It's just so reflective that I'm like, no thanks. <laughs> thanks, but no thanks. Alright, so the next item is the high gloss, and this package is very similar. It just has the um, scales on it instead of bubbles. And this is called You Are the Sun. So it is just a peachy beige lip gloss and I don't know if you can tell but it does definitely have gold reflex in it similar to that metallic. So it does come off relatively clear on my lips. Um, if someone has lighter lips it might show color but I'm thinking it's not going to. I think the actual goal of this high gloss is to just give it that shimmery reflex which it does and I think it would do a lot better in the sun versus under these studio lights so I really like her high gloss formula it's not too terribly thick we can't feel the glitter pieces which I love because I can't stand a gloss that feels really gritty so let's move on to the lip blushes all right so you have two lip blushes and they're very similar in packaging. The only difference is they have seashells. So, very cute packaging. This one is Boss Baby, and I actually wore this all day today. Um, I wore it because these you don't really need to test out, nor do you need to test out lip gloss, because basically tube lipstick and lip gloss all around are um, fairly similar. However, this is a new formula, I believe, for Kylie at least for her brand and I just wanted to try to kind of feel like what is it I have it right here what they say like the way they explain it on their website so the way they explain it on the website is Boss Baby is a lip blush that has an ultra lightweight formula it provides a sheer wash of color with creamy application it dries down to a diffused matte powder finish with soft focus powders to make lips look smooth and even. It is not drying and comfortable all day wear. It won't settle into lip lines. So, it is a beautiful color. However, it is very dry. Um, at first when you put it on, you're like, oh, this is so nice. It is very lightweight. But it's almost like a lip stain so if you've worn a lip stain before it is more water based than it is anything else I'm sorry my hair is a mess it is more water based than it is anything else so you can feel it drying like it's not like moisturizing like a lipstick should or would be it most definitely goes into my lip lines I have lip lines like you would not believe nothing smooth about my lips and what it started to do was um break off in like little pieces and I thought it was my lips so what I did was I took it off exfoliated them in the bathroom put it back on and it still did the same thing it didn't transfer so that was nice again it was lightweight it's a very pretty color however this formula I am not a big fan of so it'll probably be the only time that I buy this formula from her brand so boss baby is this rosy terracotta color it's very pretty so again this is boss babe sorry boss bay and it is it is a beautiful color 
Uh, however, it's just not the formula for me. It has almost like um, an alcoholy smell, like it's like chemicals in here. So I'm just not a fan. This is not my favorite product, so I will not be keeping it on my lips, but I do want to swatch them for you. All right, so it is a light, warm, rosy color. This one is actually pretty close to my my actual lip color, so I really do like that. Again, it's just too thin and too dry for me. So all in all, with the lipsticks, I am a big fan of the tubes. They're pretty okay. And then the high gloss, it's pretty. It's just your normal lip gloss that I feel is like normal. Um, not too thick, not too crazy. It gives a really pretty shimmer to the lips. However, these have got to go. I'm not a fan. <laughs> all right, so we are gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette now. So the eyeshadow palette is that same color packaging. It's just coral reefs. I believe that's what they are. So it is a smaller palette and you do get 12 shades. Um, the packaging itself is almost like a light peachy nude. I thought from the pictures on Instagram and stuff that the palette was just a tad bigger. I didn't realize it was a mini palette. It's not really a mini palette, but it's smaller than I had assumed. So these are the colors you're getting. Oh, I will tell you these two are the colors that drew me in to buy it, this purple and green. Like, just look at it. Oh, yes. So stunning. Okay, so I went ahead and I zoomed you back in just so you can get a closer look. All right, so I'm gonna go in with Welcome Aboard, which is just that taupey, oh, that was powdery, transition shade for my lid. I'm going to put it above my crease and a little bit in my crease. So this color is not as deep as I want it to be. It's like uh, literally almost my skin tone. Okay, so they don't really have a darker color in this palette. So I think I'm going to take that Welcome Aboard and just put it all over the lid actually. Because that's strange. Like it, it has other colors, but they're just very not what you're going to put on your lid. Um, they have My Treasure which is more of a cool tone brown. Um, so it's just a little bit weird for me to put that on my lid to give it a base. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put on my Morphe primer on my lid, just a snab. Now that I have the Morphe primer on my eyes lids, on my eyelids, on my eyelids, I'm gonna go in with the Pacific and put that on my lid. I'm so excited. I'm going to try to go in with a dry brush and see what happens. I'm going in with the Morphe M167. I know it's stained blue. Don't need you to tell me. So I'm going to go in with dry just to get a feel of it. And see if... Ooh! She's pigmented. So I don't think that I will need to go in with a wet brush. My goodness. That is beautiful. Oh my god. This color is so pretty. This is probably my new favorite color. Okay, so I'm going to go in with this Moda brush. This is a smudger and a crease brush. But I'm going to go in with the smudging part and just lightly dip it in that B Pacific. I wonder if this is a new formula for her like shimmer shadows because this stuff is bomb like it is going on like a freaking dream oh it's so pretty it feels like creamy like it's a creamy powdered shadow it's so pigmented and so freaking beautiful all right and i am going to go through later on um and give you swatches of the rest of them i just want to kind of get the look and show you guys so i'm going to go back in with that welcome aboard and i am going to just lightly smoke out that line so it's not too crazy. All right, so I went ahead and I put my full face of makeup on and my lips so I can do the under eye look for you. So for the under, I think I'm gonna do Mermaid Mama right here under the eye just to give it that green and purple mermaid look. All right, so I'm gonna go underneath with a Morphe M431. Oh yes, that is just as pigmented as the green. 
so pretty. I look like the Joker, less like a mermaid. Okay, so for the inner corner, I am gonna go in with that same brush and give it a wipey. And so I'm gonna go in the inner corner with C Pearl. It's just this golden shimmer color to give it a pop of shimmer, although these are kind of shimmery shadows. Can't ever have too much shimmers. So I am just adding that shimmer to the center, which I really am loving. It just gives it like a subtle glow. I keep looking there at the viewfinder, but I promise. I'm talking to you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna do swatches with the rest of them that I didn't use, but first I'm gonna go ahead and put my mascara and my lashes on, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, and I am back after my eyelashes have been applied. So now I am going to swatch the rest of those colors fairly quickly onto my arm. Again, these colors are on the front of this palette, so I get really excited because I can tell you what they're actually called. So I did see Pearl, but I'll go ahead, I'm going to swatch them anyways. Alright, so this is going to be left to right in the palette, so top to bottom. So we have Sea Pearl, Welcome Aboard, Salty Sweet, and Boss Beach. Alright. And again, left to right in the palette. You have Sure About You, My Treasure, Abandoned Ship, and then this one, which is Seashell Kiss, which is a very shimmery, like thick, I'm gonna pull it up for you, a thick pressed glitter. I love this one too. All right, and the last row is going to be that purple I put under my eye, which is Mermaid Mama, Can I Kelp You, Hook You In, and Be Pacific, which is my favorite color in the palette. You can see that Can I Help Kelp You is just, it's like a very thick glitter, like, I don't even know, it's not pressed glitter, it's definitely just like a sticky glitter, like sticker, sticky chunky glitter. I don't really know how to explain it to you guys anything other than that. Um, it's just like, think, of when you get like remember back and when you would get like the cheap makeup when you were little like the little kid makeup and it was kind of like sticky gooey stuff with glitter in it that's what it reminds me of but it's way better than that like the glitter comes off phenomenally um i just don't want to put it on my eyes because i don't want to do i don't want to overwhelm this look and i really like the green um the only thing negative about this is going to be that it has a lot of fallout. However, I think if you need a new palette, this has got to be the one you get. I love the green. I love the blue. I love the shimmers. That thick gold pressed in there is so beautiful. So this is going to be a yes for me. All right, so there are four more things left in this collection, and then we will wrap this super long video up. So the next things are the shimmer eye glaze, which I have none of. These are $20, and basically it is like a pressed shimmer like cream glitter in a pan so this one is deep sea dreams so it comes in that jar like the paint pot and abh dip brow it comes with a cover and then i'm going to go ahead and show you this one which again is called deep sea dreams all right i'm not gonna lie this is actually really freaking stunning so then we have night swim so this is the packaging of the pots and it has starfish on it, which I love. And then that's the color. Just like a deep golden color. Almost like a bronze. But again, it's just a chunkier formula. It just leaves a lot of chunk of glitter. But it is very pretty and very reflective. And that one is Night Swim. They are really pretty. I might have to do like a look with these and either post it on Instagram or post it on um, Facebook something. So this one is gonna be Aqua Mama. It is literally like a aqua blue with some like just reflex of like green and maybe a little yellow. Oh my gosh. Look. Oh. My Lord. 
these are pretty i won't lie to you 20 dollars is expensive but these are really really freaking pretty all right so the last one we have is the ocean child all right and that's the final swatch so these are very pretty and they come out way more glitter than they look in the actual pan. They're very creamy. Um, they're just a little bit chunkier than I prefer. My favorite one is gonna be Aquamama just cause it has that duo chrome aspect. I love it. So these are very, very pretty and I can't wait to use them. And hopefully they work out like really, really, really well and they don't make a mess on my eyes cause they are definitely like making a mess on my hand. I don't know if you can see that, I have like glitter all over the place. All right guys, so that is it for the entire Under the Sea collection. I hope you liked this video. My favorite thing out of this whole collection is definitely the eyeshadow palette. I love the colors. I love the formula. I love how they work, how they lay down on the eye. Um, I didn't have any trouble using the colors that I did. The ones that I swatched were so beautiful. So I'm really excited to kind of play with this one a little bit more and see what I can get out of it. But if you're going to get anything in this collection, most definitely get the eyeshadow palette. I freaking love it. I love the colors. I think they're so pretty. So that is my thoughts on the whole collection. Again, I hope you guys liked this video. Sorry it was super long. Again, tell me down below how you want whole collections to be reviewed so I can kind of work with what you guys prefer and as always make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!